Today I'm going to be redesigning famous logos. If you're new here, I'm Tyler aka Tylee Talk and on this channel I design, redesign, critique, do all kinds of fun things with logos. If you are into graphic design, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now today I'm going to be redesigning five famous logos. These are ones that I've redesigned over the course of my time here on the internet. So it's just going to be kind of like a little vlog of each redesign, what my thoughts were behind it, how I did them, and what I think of the end result. So today I'm gonna to be doing Pringles, Panera, Petco, Avocademy, which is like a UX design school, and Firefox. So most of these are ones that I saw that had change that people did not like the change, and I took it upon myself to redesign it how I thought it could look best. It's recently come to my attention that Pringles has changed its logo to this. A lot of people really dislike it. So today I'm gonna try to redesign the redesign, and here's what I came up with. So my initial idea was to kind of do something like the actual Pringle shape itself for the little dude up here. I really like on the old one how it's got the lines and the mustache and the hair. I think this new one is just a little too simple. Move that right onto the chip. Okay, I actually really like how this looks. <laughs> it's so cute. I decided to give him eyebrows instead of hair. An outline with a different pen to give it a more artistic feel. I found a couple fonts I liked on Adobe Fonts, changed the kerning a little bit, and then played with the angle of it. Okay, I actually, I love that. But maybe, let me try it the other way. I ended up adding a few more brush strokes in Procreate and changed the background color a little bit. And here's the final results. Panera has quietly changed their logo from this to this. While the change is subtle, I just don't think it hits the mark. So you know what that means. We're gonna redesign it. I think what they were trying to do was change it from their more like artistic feel that their first one had into this more clean logo. But to me, it really just looks like they were trying to copy the Starbucks logo. I mean, look at the faces. They're like identical and the hair is identical. But I think where the Starbucks one works is how like symmetrical and perfectly fitting in that circle that it is. But with their new logo, it just adds this weird height thing to it and the shape it makes behind it I just don't like it where I like the first logo is where she's kind of like on the side holding her bread and it just looks more flowy and like she's actually like looking at it and cares as opposed to this new one that's just like we can go ahead and keep the like breaking bread thing that they have going on with the second one and then maybe in the end we can like put it all in a circle I just did this in a couple minutes but this is where I think the new Panera logo could have succeeded more than the new one that they actually made it's been a little over a year since Petco went from this to this this, and the internet hated the new logo. They took away the cat and the dog and they made it this weird navy color, I guess in an attempt to make it be more like a health and wellness pet brand instead of just food, but it totally lost all of its character. People were saying it looks like the Casper logo and overall it's just boring. So for my redesign, I decided I wanted to keep the cat and the dog, but simplify them. So I did that in Illustrator and I just kind of wanted to take off all the features and maybe bump up the colors a little bit. So I did that with the pen tool and eventually I kind of just hated how complicated it was getting. So I started from scratch and cleaned it up and made it be like an exact outline until I finally landed on one that I was happy with. Next I went searching for a font and I found one that was is kind of similar to the old logo. It's called Rustica Bold. And I figured I'd keep the color, but make Pet Blue and Co. Red. I messed around with the kerning a little bit, and then I decided to make some of the letters have not so sharp of edges. And at this point, I realized I could kind of make the cat and the dog fit together within the logo. So I messed around with all the little details, all the little points, until I finally got one that I was happy with, and here's the final result. I love how this turned out. It looks a little bit more modern because of the clean lines and the different colors and the updated font. I think it keeps the integrity of the old logo, which is what people were really missing with the new one. And overall, I just really like how it all fits together. Today, I'm going to be redesigning the Avocademy logo. I actually really like their logo, but I have some thoughts on ways I would change it. My idea was instead of making the logo be an actual avocado, I wanted to make it an avocado seed with a plant sprouting out of it to represent the growth and change you get from the course. I started by sketching it out on Procreate on my iPad and then moved it into Illustrator once I was happy with the design. I outlined it with the pen tool and played around with different colors and layouts until I landed on this. Next I went searching for a font and finally landed on one called Trilby and I changed the color of the text to match the logo and made the O have a little brown center to look like an avocado. And here's the final result. I love how this logo came out. It's definitely more my organic type of style. Firefox just changed their logo to this and took the fox out of their logo entirely. And you know what that means. It's time for another logo redesign. So I think I'm going to try to design a flame logo that looks like it has fox ears and maybe some features. I don't know, I don't hate it at the moment, but I'm definitely going to have to bring it into Illustrator and see what else I can do with it. 
I think what I want to do, start doing with this is just making it more of a geometric shape, everything cleaner, crisper. Okay, so far I'm hating everything I'm doing. After making all the shapes, I decided to make the red be more circular, and then I traced all the features of the fox, but decided to keep the eyes off of it because it looked a little too cartoony. Lastly, I went ahead and gave everything a gradient and a slight drop shadow. And here's the final result. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments which of these redesigns is your favorite. And if you have any ideas for more logos I can redesign in the future, go ahead and let me know that too. And I will see you in the next one.